August the 16th, 1984, the International Parliamentary Assembly on Population and Development was held in Mexico City, where representatives from 60 countries in the world gathered to adopt a new project for its global activities. At the assembly, a clear concept on population and development measures was established. Tokyo, the capital of Japan, and the new metropolitan center, Shinjuku. Nowadays, electricity serves as the prime mover of industrial development and that of human capabilities. Electricity, at the same time, has helped us to bring about affluence in people's home lives. It has also helped to lower the rate of births. This photograph of a farming family was taken about 40 years ago. At the time, lamps were still in common use in many farming villages. Modernization in agriculture was not much in evidence yet, requiring a large number of farm hands. In due time, electricity gradually became available in many villages in remote mountain areas. Parts and components for electric service were carried by carts over a steep mountain path which rejected the passage of motorized vehicles. Electric light poles were planted, wires stretched across ravines, lead wires drawn and meters installed at each household. In many households, lamp cleaning was a children's daily assignment. When houses were lit with the first electric lamps, children raised a shout of joy over the impressive light which brightened the whole house. Today's children spend time at their studies like this. In Japan, education has played a significant role in the nation's industrial development. The Japanese educational system provides children with nine years of compulsory education, six years in primary school and three years at junior high. After leaving the junior high, most of them advance to three or four year senior high schools. These high school students here, attending a physical exercise class, work in the daytime and study in the evening after work. There are a few different types of high schools in Japan. Those for comprehensive education, night schools and vocational schools specifically organized for studies of commerce, manufacturing industry, agriculture, marine industry, industrial arts and so forth. Available for senior high school leavers are a large variety of technical colleges for vocational training such as this a computer school here, junior colleges mostly for two-year courses, and regular universities for four-year courses, or some six years. This is a university campus. Today, an increasing number of girls are receiving higher education. This trend promotes their employment in knowledge-oriented industries, while inevitably making their marrying ages higher and higher. This chart indicates the post-war ratio of students are going on to schools of higher grade. The 1984 ratio of those going on to senior high schools accounts for 94.1%, while those enrolled in their universities or junior colleges, 35.6%. The educational system in Japan has always assured constant supply of high-quality labor force to industries. In 1945, Japan lost the war in utter confusion and ruins. 
the war damages were immense. Most of the national wealth, including production facilities, were destroyed. After the end of the war, the Japanese suffered serious energy and food shortages. Furthermore, a large number of people were repatriated from overseas, greatly increasing the population. Streets were filled with the unemployed. Japan, fortunately, is blessed with abundant water resources. The government implemented measures to develop energy sources by utilizing natural water. The united efforts of government and people resulted in the rapid progress of industrial reconstruction. Here, a dam has been completed. But power supply still remained insufficient. So the government stepped up the projects to construct thermoelectric power stations. Gradually, networks of power transmission lines were beginning to cover the whole nation. This chart shows the number of both hydroelectric and thermoelectric power plants constructed by 1985. In terms of electric power supply for industrial use alone, the figure had increased by approximately three times more from 24,584 million kilowatt hours in 1951 to 74,367 million kilowatt hours in 1960. Electricity was indeed the very source of energy for all industries of the nation. The electric furnace at iron and steelworks served as the basis of industries. Automobile industry is one of the high-growth industries of Japan. Advanced technology helped to develop sophisticated robots for the assembly lines at car manufacturing plants. Electricity at the same time was greatly instrumental in modernizing farming villages. In the late 1950s, the electrification of farming villages helped to bring about higher efficiency in farm work, as well as the development of new cultivating methods dramatically enhancing productivity. Areas where the technique of electrified farming was applied include irrigation, threshing, poultry farm by hotbed, light cultivation and so on. Combines represent modernized agriculture. The use of a combine assures great efficiency in farm work, minimizing the human labor. The constant inflow of young labor force from farming areas into cities marked the figure of 500,000 to 600,000 annually. Particularly, the three metropolitan areas with coastal industrial zones had annually accepted 100,000 people from 1955 to the end of 1970. Here's the scene of mass employment for high school leaders. The labor force supply from farm villages to urban areas served as one of the prime movers to support the nation's high economic growth. The Shinkansen Super Express running at 220 kilometers per hour. As symbolized by this sophisticated train, industrial activities in Japan became increasingly brisk and busy since the 1960s. This chart indicates transitional changes in the growth of GNP and the total energy demand in Japan.
the industrial structure of Japan greatly changed in the course of the nation's high economic growth. The industry-wise employment population decreased in the primary industry, while that in the secondary industry increased, indicating a rapid change for nationwide industrialization. Vitality that supported the industrial development of the country was also grown in modernized workplaces. One of the elements which had underlaid the development was the new life movement promoted by many Japanese enterprises which started in the mid-1950s. In this movement, both the enterprise and the employees' families pursue the common objectives as illustrated here with emphasis on health control. This is the working system of the movement, organized by an iron and steel company that played a leading role in this corporate movement. Particularly, the leaders and housewives led the others in promoting the activities. This is a handbill distributed to employees' household during the early period of the movement. The officials led the employees and their families by proposing a family planning to help them better enjoy health and stability in life. They also offered various kinds of advice on their lifestyle improvement and achieved great results in many aspects of the movement. Here's a case found in one of the enterprises that have been engaged in the new life movement. As the chart indicates, industrial accidents involving the employees had decreased in number by half during the three-year period from 1952 to 1955, and further down to one-third seven years afterwards. Absences have also decreased. This chart shows the changes in the rate of births and induced abortions. The changes are obvious before and after the guidance. Its second feature is the fact that the Japanese management encourages the active participation of its employees in the corporate efforts for ability development of individuals as well as managerial activities. In this photograph, we see that the management invites all the employees to offer good ideas for the movement. A circle discussion held by the employees to manufacture quality products for reasonable prices, the employees are actively taking part in discussions through group activities such as being done by the quality control circle. Within the group, all people are given equal chances to express themselves freely regardless of their positions in the company. This, at the same time, resulted in promoting mutual cooperation of the workers while strengthening their solidarity at the workplace. The employees receive various kinds of training courses. For example, a course here is designed for young staff members who have just joined the company. The training is given in groups, but at times on individual basis. Courses are organized for people over 45 years old, representing the middle management who are expected to improve in managerial and administrative abilities. This is the new Metropolitan Center where leading enterprises, both Japanese and foreign, are operating. These people are commuting to their offices. The 
The Japanese management implements extensive welfare measures, including that for workers' health control. One example is the job site exercises done by the staff during the morning break, and another in the afternoon. A lunchtime scene at the cafeteria. Here, the employees can enjoy inexpensive meals because the expenses are partly paid by the company. The company cooperative store offers a large variety of daily necessities which can be purchased inexpensively. The employees' families are invited to a sports meeting which is organized by the company. This delightful occasion helps to enhance the sense of togetherness between the company and the workers' families. This is a corporation house, one of the welfare facilities of a leading company. These days, an increasing number of small families in Japan live in this type of housing complex. Now, you'll take a look at the inside of their apartments. Here, we find a lifestyle largely based on the use of electricity, suggesting the trend of today's society. In a lifestyle with numerous electric appliances, housewives can enjoy plenty of leisure time. This enables them to lead more substantial lives, for example, by taking part in the community's social or cultural activities. Television games are very popular among children. It can be said that today's Japan is obviously coming to an age of electric applications. There's no doubt that electricity will further help develop industry and human resources while enhancing the living standards of all people. <laughs> 